Tired of having to make a four hour drive anytime he needed cylinder head work, block work, or crank work done, Keith Haps finally bit the bullet and decided to open his own machine shop. The result was Haps CNC Performance Engines in Alexandria, Missouri, which opened its doors to customers in November 2018. The shop does everything in-house, with five full-time employees, and has the capabilities to take care of ag engines, industrial engines, and performance engines. With a bevy of state-of-the-art equipment, Haps is set up to accommodate a lot of engine work, and according to Keith, the plan is to keep that engine work affordable to customers. Recently, the shop finished up building a 557 cubic inch Mopar Mega Block engine for bracket racing, and we're going to give you all the details in this episode of Engine of the Week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrain. Precision, performance, pen grade. Always the original green oil. L-Ring DOS Original. Leading technology, leading service. And SCAT Crankshafts. Everything for your LS engine. I'm RJ Polk for Engine Builder, and today we're talking about a 557 cubic inch Mopar Megablock engine, built by HEP CNC Performance Engines. This build, which started life as a 440 mega block, belongs to shop employee Dan Chenoweth. Dan bought the engine block from a guy in Syracuse, New York. I own two of these mega blocks. Basically back, well, I want to say in the late 90s, early 2000s, Chrysler was having somebody build these mega blocks. They're a design just like the 426 Hemi. Okay. Uh, they're a four bolt main block and it's, and you, of course you have two bolts coming up from the bottom into the block and then uh, they have side bolts coming in from the side of the block into the mains. And uh, Chrysler had these on the market for several years and for some reason they quit them. And of course, now, these things are because anybody that has one usually doesn't want to get rid of them. He ended up finding two. One is a 500 cubic inch engine, and the other is the recently built 440 mega block engine that the shop stroked to 557 inches. But these blocks were designed for racing. They designed them a lot heavier in the lower end down in the crank webbing to support and put a lot of stroke. They're a very durable block if you have a four, just an old stock 440 blocks sitting there and a mega block and you can look at the difference in how much heavier the lower end in these blocks are. The block Chenoweth most recently bought has never been run and all the parts and pieces in it are brand new such as the 4375 stroke crank, new rods, Ross coated pistons and a Mylodon oil pump and a 706 lift comp cams camshaft with a 294 duration. It's not a real high lift cam it's like a 706 lift cam, so you don't have to run the real heavy springs. It's not hard on your valve train and all that. I build them for duration more so than, you know, go fast. On the induction side, the shop uses a set of ported NDSR cylinder heads, and for the valve train, this engine features a set of Harlan Sharp roller rockers, Smith Brother push rods, comp cam valves, K motion racing springs, and a Cloys roller timing chain system. Built for a drag racing application, Chenoweth admits he didn't put a lot of compression in this engine. Just 11 and a half to one compression, but it'll still deliver an eighth mile run in 4.8 to 4.9 seconds. That translates to 900 to 950 horsepower coming from this 557 cubic inch Mopar mega block engine. That does it for this episode of Engine of the Week. Thanks to our sponsors, Pengrade, Scat Crankshafts, and L-Ring. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have an engine you'd like to see featured, please email our editor, Greg Jones, at gjones at babcox.com. Thanks for watching.